If your WordPress website isn't sending emails when it should, you can always sign up for an email delivery platform. It's easy to add and I'll show you now with SendGrid. So after signing into SendGrid, you're brought over to a dashboard and there's a few options here. We're, for a WordPress website, we're going to choose this top option, integrate using our web API or SMTP relay. So inside there, we're going to choose web API and then we're going to need to generate a secret key to use with SendGrid. So we're going to choose the language as PHP because WordPress is PHP. And then we're just going to create a key. That key we're going to give to our website, our WordPress website, so that it can communicate with SendGrid and then send emails. You can ignore a lot of the other information on this page. You really just want to get this API key. So copy that to your clipboard jump back over to your WordPress website and we're going to add a plugin now to integrate our site with SendGrid. So a simple plugin that does everything that we need is WP Mail SMTP by WP Forms. So we're going to install that plugin, activate it, and then you can find it down in the sidebar here on the at the bottom of the list. On the settings page, we're going to scroll down to the very bottom and then choose send grid as our mailer. And then we have an API key box, which appears. So we're just going to paste our API key in there. Once that's done, you can send yourself a test email to see that everything is working correctly. And if so, you should receive an email that looks like this. So that's all it takes to add SendGrid onto your WordPress website just takes a minute and you shouldn't have any more trouble sending emails from your website after that. Good luck and until next time, bye-bye.